This, hold on a second. At any rate, it's not cooperating. This uh, neighborhood needs to be patrolled, and if we elected, Doug, if you had elected Doug Jordan, and actually pressed the, you know, clicked for a button for for uh, Doug Jordan, we would have had patrolling in our neighborhoods. But since you didn't do that, and you voted for someone that you know, y'all might have went to high school with. And we got shit done. There's hardly any cops on the road pulling the dangerous drivers over like they used to be. They're not patrolling neighborhoods. And this neighborhood needs to be patrolled. Not only do we have nonstop traffic in a dead-end street, only fitty home neighborhood, but they're speeding like bats out of hell. And it can actually cause a severe accident or kill someone, running someone over. So yesterday, I was about to make a left turn in my driveway, and this asshole was, uh, who was at the red light at Publix or Zaxby's Crosses on over, speeds and catches up with me as I'm ready to make a left turn, goes around me as of, uh, within inches. I just slam on my brakes and the horn. That mofo, that's how fast the mofo was going and did something that he, shouldn't have, he or she shouldn't have done was go around me as I'm making a left turn. I could have went right into him. This is the kind of things that needs to be stopped. This is why we need to be patrolled. I'm sick of it, man. It's got to stop. Horrible traffic, horrible sights. I mean, <laughs> the amount of traffic in this neighborhood, in my opinion, it's out of control. It's out of control. How is it, I could step out at any given moment, 1043, 947, just oddball times, and there's a car zooming up and down the road. So if there's a car zooming up and down the road, when I happen to be outside, I'm sure it's not just mere coincidence, if so, I'll play the lottery. Um, yeah. There, there, it is traffic when I'm not around, which means there's constant traffic. Now, to 60 minutes in the day, right? I mean, an hour and 24 hours in a day. Do the math. 60 times 10 hours is 600 minutes. 60 times 20 hours is 1,200 minutes. And 6 times 4 is 24. So it's uh, 1,440 minutes of, of uh, in a day. Look at that Franken scene. So you're going to tell me we're going to have 1,440 cars going up and down? Because based on what I'm seeing, or let's cut that in half. 600? That's, that's a lot for dead-end street fitty homes. Keeping the Sabbath. <coughs> no, you don't have to be a seven-day Adventist just to be keeping the Sabbath on Saturday. I'm a cackalack. We, we usually go on Saturdays. And folks, you got two freaking lines. I mean, there was this handicapped person. We already know it's handicapped. All right? Handicapped person has all this extra space in the, in the parking spot, happens to park on the line right where in the parking spot that I wanted to park in next to. So I couldn't park there. Unbelievable, man. Keep it between the freaking lines. We had a bishop from uh, New Orleans, Nolens. And he was good, I must say. I mean, I almost thought I was in a Baptist church for a moment. <laughs> as far as the preaching was going, he said, can I get an amen? I need you all to interact. I need to hear from you. Otherwise, we're going to be here all night. The bells were good. It was a, it was a great concert. I'm not going to say it wasn't. It was great. The bells and everything. But they didn't do Carol of the Bells. Ding, 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 ding. They didn't sing God bless ye very gentlemen. I was looking forward to that kind of stuff. You know, familiar songs. Uh, but the singing was phenomenal. I mean, they sound like angels. They really do. And I heard that Saturday, which was yesterday, that the, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? Practice? At practice? It was... It didn't go well. But tonight, it went without, off without a hitch. That's how good it was. All right? <coughs> I don't know what's going around, man, but whatever it is, it sucks. I wonder if they put it in the chemtrails.
So yeah, the bells in the choir were phenomenal. Um, it was Christmas uh, music after Mass, but I hear that uh, uh, on Christmas Eve Mass, that's where I'll hear the Carol of the Bells and songs like God Bless Ye Merry Gentlemen, uh, Gentlemen and Silent Night and stuff like that. Uh, the only thing is, I'm not going to be there for vigil, I mean, uh, Midnight Mass or whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to be there that late. Was it, was it Midnight Mass? I know it's a late Mass. Was it start at 10? Something like that. And goes to midnight? Something like that. At any rate. Matt Landman started a watch party. Matt Landman, why don't you accept my friendship? <laughs> Unbelievable, man. I have a lot of other heavy hitters that accepted, like Dane Wigington, Joe Embriano. I'm just saying. Most assuredly, this is a reception done right. Party people and party sheeple. No, uh, no cookies and water here. No cookies and water here, uh, Lester. What's up? What's up with you Baptists sometimes, man? Uh, don't be all cheap on the reception. You should go all out. <laughs> Lester needs his ass kicked. <laughs> oh, don't tell me I didn't eat like a freaking bird today. She's 91, by the way. That's Gladys. Me, Gladys, and her son, 67. Gladys over here is 91. This is, uh, I forgot her name. And, and something. Uh, but anyway, they're actually not Catholic, Catholic, but they come in, they go to different churches, and they enjoy our church, and it has festivities and stuff. They're not above going to a Catholic church, being a non-Catholic that they are. But meanwhile, I notice a lot of my Baptist friends, they won't ever step foot in a freaking, in a Catholic church. But yet it's okay for us to step foot in theirs. How one-sided is that? 